lady. Father Lord, we thank you for who you are. Father Lord, we thank you. We honor you. We reverence you, Lord. We magnify your name, O oh Lord. Father Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We thank you, everlasting Father, our rock and our banner, our shield, our deliverer, our healer, our rock of ages. Father Lord, God Almighty, we commit today into your heaven, O oh Lord, as we worship in your sanctuary. Father Lord, God Almighty, anyone with a heavy heart, O oh Lord, Father Lord, that heart, as they come into your presence, O oh Lord, they shall be set loose. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord God, refresh us today, even as we worship in one unity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh bless the Lord, all oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. For Him alone deserves to be worshipped. Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let's open God. our scripture to Psalm 100. The scripture says, make a joyful shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Just as today you and I, we have come before his presence, knowing that he is our Lord. Knowing that he is the Prince of Peace, knowing that he is the Lord of Lord, everlasting Father, he is the God, it is he who has made us. You and I, we didn't make ourselves. It is God who has made us. That is why we have to exalt his name. We have to worship him. We have to surrender all to him. For he has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter Amen. into his gates with thanksgiving. And Amen. into his thoughts with praise. Be thankful to him. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Blessed be his name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Begin to give God thanks. It's the good of his name. Begin to give him thanks. Father Lord, we give you thanks. Thank you for keeping us safe. Father Lord, thank you for your safety. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for being our deliverer. Thank you for Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Father Lord, we give him the glory. We give him the honor. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the glory. Thank you for us. Thank you for pushing our mortal body. We are not in the grave. We are not in the mushroom. We are in the sanctuary. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to worship him. For him the Lord deserves the glory. He the Lord deserves the honor. Thank you for every brother and sister on this Zoom today, oh Lord. Father Lord, thank you for every brethren on this Zoom today, oh Lord. Father Lord, God, in your name alone. 
out. We are exalted today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is not like you, oh Lord, we wipe them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we pray for fire, fresh and mighty upon every brother and sister on this Zoom today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus, and we thank you, Holy Spirit. The scripture says, knowing that he is our God, hallelujah, he is Amen. our God, there is no to be compared with him. Thank Jesus. you, everlasting Father. We Jesus. give you the glory, we give you the honor. We exalt your name, O Lord. For in yes. Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. It's a great Sunday. Yes, it is. A day of our Lord is the second Sunday of the month mm -hmm. of September 2021. Yes. And it's a beautiful day to worship God again. Are you happy? Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Ma, thank you for that wonderful invocation. We come Amen. to the presence of the Spirit here now. Amen. God has taken his position. Right. And you're going to observe and let everything move the way he, he takes us. Amen. 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 We thank you for this wonderful day. It's another great day of our Lord. Let us have a quick run of what we're going to do. Because the God who has charged us to do this has also equipped us on the line and directions to follow. Amen. After this, we'll, Sister Ellen is going to take us from the opening prayer. And after the opening prayer, then we'll observe the hymn now from our soul sisters led by Sister Leticia. Then the intercessory prayers today, we're going to have Sister Demetra, who's going to take us on the prayer for the nations. And Deacon Eric who's going to take us against sickness and diseases. Amen? Amen. Amen. So after that, the praise and worship will take over, led by Sister Esther and Sister Leticia. We're going to hear beautiful songs from our soul sisters. Amen? Amen. 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 Then that get us prepared to hear the word. Then after the word from our pastor, the tithe will be handled today by Evangelist Kwaku. I hope yeah. he's in the house. We give God the glory for him. So yeah. after that, the announcement, then the prayer for the month will be done by Sister Queen. That's what we're going to have today is a quick run of it before we get to our closing hymn now and benediction also taken by our pastor. So please make yourself available. There's no other place, better place to be than in the room now. Come Amen. put yourself... Be in your best mood to let God lead you because this is his time with us and for us. As God bless you all, as I welcome Sister Ellen for the opening prayer. God bless you. Blessings. Good afternoon, everyone. Let's pray. Amen. Amen. Father God, we thank you for another Sunday, Lord Jesus, the start of a new week where we can come and spend time in your presence, Father. Yes, Lord Jesus, Lord. my prayer, O oh God, is that your Holy Spirit be in charge of this entire proceedings, O oh God. Amen. Yes. Father God, let us not leave the same way we came. Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, that your Holy Spirit will take over and do as he sees fit, O oh God. That, yes, Lord, Lord Jesus, for all of us, let us die to ourselves and allow you to increase, O oh God. Amen. Father God, so many things that we have on our minds and so many things that we may want to do or to not do. But Lord Jesus, I thank you that you will prove yourself to be God yes, and, and the true and living God. Father, mm -hmm. I just thank you that as today's proceedings have been opened for your spirit taking charge and you doing what you see fit to do, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father God, I thank you for keeping Pastor Benjamin and his family. Thank you for your protection upon them. Thank you for keeping Daniel as well, oh God, as he had his accident. Lord, we thank you that he is healing, Father, completely in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray that your protection continue to rest upon all of us who are here. 
that throughout yes. this week coming, Father, that your protection and your blessings and your grace and your favor, everything we need, you will provide for us, O oh Lord. Thank Amen. you again, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Amen. Salvation of, Jesus, of the Lord. Amen. His blessings upon his people. Amen. Let us listen to the beautiful hymn now from our soul sister. God bless you. Amen. 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 It says there shall be showers of blessings. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons refreshing. Sent from the Savior above, showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops from the suffering, but for the showers we need. There shall be showers of blessings, precious reviving again, over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain, showers of blessings. Tell us of lessons we need. Mercy drops from the sapphire, but for the showers we need. There shall be showers of blessings. Send them upon us, O oh Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing. Come and now honor thy word. Show us of blessings. Show us of blessings we need. Mercy drops from the suffering. But for the showers we please, there shall be showers of blessing. Oh, that today they might fall. Now, as to God be confessing, now, as on Jesus we fall. Of blessings, thou us of blessings we need. Mercy drops from the sapphire, but for the showers we need. Hallelujah! Yes. Showers of blessings. Yeah. That's all we need. Yeah. So beautiful to hear the song. Yes. Showers of blessings. Yes. I can feel God's presence and his blessings. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my sisters, for those wonderful words. Yeah. Uh, every line there is a line to remember. Yes. And that think deep into us. Mm. Amen. It Amen. is such a huge message yes, as Lord. we get ourselves prepared yes, for Lord. the intercessory prayer led by mm. Sister Demetria, prayer for the nation. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thanks. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. As we pray for the nations today, I pray that we pray with the spirit of truth, love, Amen. joy, and peace. Let Amen. it abound in your hearts today. We are blessed. We are blessed. 
So amen. let's give thanks to God. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. We are God's creation. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. We amen. are the image and the likeness of God. God sustains it, us. Yes, so amen. give him all of the glory. Glory, so tell glory, the Lord, glory. Thank you. Glory. Tell yes, the Lord, Lord, thank you. Say thank, thank you, Lord. We Thank love you, Lord. Lord. And we love you, Lord. Today, Lord. Yes, we know, Lord. Lord God, that you are our sustainer, Lord. You are yes, our Lord. provider, Jehovah yes, Lord. Jireh. And we yes, give Lord. you all of the thanks, Lord God. We yes, thank Lord. you, Lord God, that you are counting us among Amen. those that are blessed, Lord. Amen. All the nations that are represented here today, Lord. Yes. Even yes. those nations, Lord God, that are not represented in this congregation. Father God, we still lift them up before you, Lord. We yes, lift Lord. up the nations of this world, Lord God. Oh, my little... And we just give you thanks, Lord God. God, yes, Lord. being among the blessed and being yes. able, Lord yes. God, having the mind yes. to intercede today, Lord. God, yes, we Lord. don't take it for granted today, Lord God. Yes. But we give you the thanks, Lord God. God. And we, we you, Lord. declare, Lord God, we decree, Lord God, we decree, blessings Lord. on every nation, Lord God. Hey. Every nation, Lord God, that is represented here today, Lord God. Yes, yes, Lord. Blessings, Lord Jesus. We yes, claim that Lord. promise, Lord God, from your word, Lord Jesus. It's mm. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Yes. If my people, people. hallelujah, yes. Jesus, which hey. are called by my um, name, Lord hey, Jesus, should Lord. humble themselves and pray, Lord God. Yes. Seek, hallelujah, seek Amen. the face of the Lord and turn yes. from our wicked ways. There yes. will I hear from heaven, hallelujah, yes. Jesus, and Amen. forgive Amen. our sins, Lord God. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. Turn, Amen. turn, turn, turn from oh. wickedness, Lord God, so we can hear from heaven, Lord God. God and the land will be healed, Lord. We yes. dismount, Lord God, wickedness today. We dismount that spirit of heaviness, Lord God. We yes. dismounce sin today, Lord God. God yeah, we, Lord God, accept the promise, Lord God, of oh, healing, yeah. Lord Jesus. Healing it is for us, Lord God. Yes, Lord. It is the children's bread, and that's yes. what we claim yes. today, Lord God. Yes, we Lord. claim it today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is not a man that he should lie. We oh. believe it. We believe it. We believe it, yes. Lord yes. God. We, believe it. we accept yes. it, Lord God. Hallelujah, yes. Lord God. Um, Nor yes. are you the son of man that we that you have to repent, Lord God. God, we believe that today, Lord God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank yes. you, Father God. Have you said, Lord. and shall he not do it? And yes. so, yes. and shall he not yes. carry it out? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. God, we know a that you are principle, yes. Lord God. Yes. 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 Same today, Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes. And forevermore, Lord God. Yes. And Lord. that's what we believe about our nation, Lord. Yes. The Lord. nations are the people of God. And yes. we are your people, Lord God. Yes. Thank you, Lord God, for having us Lord God, among Lord God, green pastors. Lord God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for thank prosperity, you, Lord. Lord God. Prayers yes, answered, Lord. Lord God. Hallelujah yes. for the nations of this world. We yes, give Lord. you all of the glory, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Father God, we know you're faithful, Lord God. And we know yes. you're true, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. We loose, Lord God. God, the yes. spirit of truth, Lord God. To yes, Lord. Lord. God, we lose life to our nation, yes, Lord. Yes. God, we lose love to our nation, lose, Lord. Lose, God, to all the nations of the world. Let yes, the Lord. words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, of my Jesus, heart. be acceptable, Lord God, in your, in your sight, Lord. 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 For you, Father God, you are my strength, Lord God, yes, Lord. and you are my redeemer, Lord God. And Lord. I give you all of the glory, Lord give you all the glory. God. God, it is so, Lord God. It they cannot be otherwise. And it's I okay. thank you, Lord God. I give thank you the praise. It's all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, thank you, Jesus. The mm. generic. The generic. The Lord is good. All, all the time. All the time. And all the time. The, the Lord, Lord is good. In the same mode of prayers, we are going to be praying against sickness and diseases. Hey. And our prayer point today is taken from the book of Deuteronomy 7.15. Okay. It says, and the Lord will take away from the all sickness mm. and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, hey. which thou knowest upon thee. 
but yes. we lay them upon them that cake day. Amen. Hey. Amen. Amen. Today we see sickness and diseases. People, we are here today worshiping, but there are others lying in the hospital. Oh others suffering. God. This God. prayer today will be a welfare prayer. A prayer that we want to, this prayer today to touch the heal, to touch and heal all those who are sick, suffering yes. from sin, in one way or the other. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus. Their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, we confess today, yes. we confess yes. every sin yes. that yes. may be responsible for the demonic sickness in our body. Yes, Lord. Father, let your unconditional mercy prevail over all demonic judgment yes. in our yes. lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At the name of Jesus Christ, every name must bow. Therefore, I command you sickness. Yes. I command you sickness wherever you are, be it in our lungs, in our kidney, in our bones, in our marrow, wherever you are, be it coronavirus, wherever you are, yes, you yes, go yes, out yes. now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus. Go out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, I curse every sickness, yes, every yes, disease Lord. in my yes. body. In our yes. lungs, in our kidney, yes. in our intestine, yes. in our yes. bones, in our marrows, yes. everywhere yes. they are, we curse them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that we yes. shall not die of sickness, but we shall yes. live to testify the goodness of God in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost, oh Lord, Holy we Ghost. Out every yoke of sickness, every sickness. yoke of disease in our disease. lives, in our body, in our intestine, yes. in our yes. in our bones. We break yes. them loose in the name of Jesus Lose Christ. Lose us. We yeah. break them now forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh God, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Blood we of command Jesus Christ. every spirit of infinity, every yes. spirit of affliction, every yes. spirit of injury in our yes. body, in our bones, in our heels, yeah. to be yeah. terminated now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh God, King of glory. Father, yes. heal every damage is done in our body. Heal yes, every Lord. damage is done in our lungs. Heal Amen. every damage is done in our intestine. Heal Amen. every damage is done inside and outside of our body as a yes, result Lord. of sickness and disease in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, King of glory, we return every arrow of sickness sent yes. to us by in any direction. Be it yes. from the north, be it from the south, be it yes. from the east, be it from yes. the west. We send it back to the sender in the to name sender. of Jesus Christ. Amen. We send it back to the sender in the name back of Jesus Christ. Back to sender. We send it back in the name of Jesus Christ. Back to sender. Back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Back to sender. Father, we thank you for this, for the total healing. We yes, thank Lord. you for your healing. We thank yes. you for your amazing grace. It is in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank for Jesus. Thank for yes. Jesus. Oh, thank you for the wonderful session. Yes. Uh, praise and worship is what we do. We can't stop praising God. We can't stop worshiping Him. No way. Nothing can this nothing can deter us from worshiping God Almighty as we focus and welcome our soul sisters for the praise and worship session. Amen. 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 Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, it's time to praise and worship our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer, he healed a leopard. When the cripples saw him, they started walking. Everywhere he went, our God was doing good everywhere he went. He went. Oh, he was doing good. Almighty healer, he healed the leopard. When the people saw him, they started walking. Everywhere he went, our God was doing good everywhere he went. Oh, everywhere he went.
give you glory. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. For you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Cause you are wonderful. Cause you are worthy, oh Lord. Cause you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Oh, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. For you are wonderful, for you are worthy, oh Lord, you are clap for Jesus. Yeah. We bow before your throne. Yes, Our Lord. Sisters, uh, when I watch you people sing, you brought nothing but joy to this platform. Yes, yes. yes. It's so natural. I enjoyed that ad lifting. something. It was so nice. Yes. We give God the glory for this strength, for yes. the voice, where it's coming yes. from. That the Lord Almighty will see you through in Jesus' name. Amen. It's so interesting to watch. Now we're going to get closer. Please yes. distance yourself from the devices. Yes. Uh, we need to hear ourselves very well as we listen to the word of God. No distractions. Yes. yes Please Lord. mute where necessary and unmute where necessary. Please yes. comport yourself now as we usher in the man of God who's going to lead us to embrace this wonderful word of god they said divine lifting 
Yes, Lord. Are we ready to be in God's presence now? Amen. Amen. We give him glory. Let us clap our hand as we welcome Pastor Dele Benjamin. Amen. Wow. Yeah, we give God a glory for another time again, especially this season of, uh, you know, September, Ember Mott, you know, uh, we are in a prophetic season. We are in a prophetic season from now till September of 2022. It's already a new year in the Jewish calendar. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you. So I want you to get this all. We are walking according by the spirit of God. So today, by his grace, like you, uh, you are seeing the word, which is called divine lifting. But first, I want to give honor to God and to bless everyone who have come and those that started the invocation, the opening prayers, I mean, the intercessory prayers, and of course, you know, the praise and the worship. That one was awesome. It was all fired up. Everybody was well prepared, you know, to meet their maker. You know, Amen. we're prepared, we're prepared, we're prepared. Everything Amen. was just so accordingly. Yes. So we give God the glory, such wonderful. So don't forget today is the second Sunday. Hmm. We are still on our team because last week we spoke about, um, uh, I mean, we spoke about what? Fruitfulness. Hmm. You know, yeah, fruitfulness, fruitfulness. Because before you get your lift, you must be fruitful. Yes, you must be fruitful. So it is fruitfulness that will take you on to be lifted. Amen. 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 And so uh, the word today, quickly, is um, divine lifting. So before we go ahead, let's see the scriptures from the very beginning. Joel 22, 21 to 30. Let's see what, okay. He said, now acquaint yourself with him, you know, and be at peace. Thereby, good will come to you. Number 22, receive please instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you, if you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. And 24, it says, then you will lay your gold in the dust and the gold of Ophir among the stones of the brooks. Yes, the Almighty will be your gold and your precious silver. For then you will have your delight in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. 27. 27. You will make your prayer to Him. He will hear you. And you will pay your vow. You will also declare a team, and it will be established. So, light will shine on your ways. Yeah. When they cast you down, and you will say, Exhortation will come. Then it will save you all a person. <clears throat> it will even deliver one who is not innocent. Yes, it will be delivered by the purity of your hands. Holy Spirit breaks, breaks the breath of life into your world. Amen. Every word that will come from it today will be the one that has been incubated with the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your word touch every poor man, both on the Zoom and on the faith, on the Facebook today. 
I came with the volume of the books that says, I quit not accept with him and be at peace. Father, we thank you. Use me as a pen of a ready, of a ready writer. Right. Take away every self from me. Let you alone be seen in my life. Amen. Decrease me so that you might increase. Increase in me. Increase, increase, increase your power in me. Increase me, Lord. And decrease me. Take away every selfish, self-centered from my life. Take away every self. Take away every, every evil ways. Take away every proudness from me, Lord. And only you be seen in my life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It's in Jesus Christ. Nay, we pray. Amen. Amen. Today, by the grace of God, like you saw in the scripture, this is Job right now. Job, this is what Job is saying. He said, acquit now thyself with him. That means to say, you have to be close to him at this time. For you to be lifted, you need to acquit yourself with him. And thereby, you'll be at a peace. Now, if I, when we talk about divine, when something is said to be divine, it means this is the nature of God. Anything divine is purity. Anything divine is unique. Is stainless. And when it said divine, it is from God, emanating from God. It means that thing is as a result of divine providence. When we talk about divine, divine, it means a result of divine providence. Divine providence. providence. When we talk about lifted, because today we're talking about divine lifting. Lifted. Now, it says to be lifted is to move upward. Is to do what? Move, move up. upward. I'm telling you, even with this pandemic, are you not moving? We are moving. We are moving. You, you are not moving. You are moving. Yes, I'm Lord. telling you, in the realm of the spirit, you are moving. You think you are back, but no way. Even, even with this pandemic, you are moving. Amen. I'm telling you, that's why you are lifted from where you are now to where. God wants you to want be. you to be. So That's when we right. talk about divine, it means something unique, something from God, not from the world, but from God, from God, from God, from God, something from God and of God. I want to talk about lifted. This, you know, we talk about lifted. It means move upward, move beyond where you are, move because God is the one moving you. Mm. Is the one moving you because God is divine, is moving you from where you are to the place He ought you to be, despite what is happening around us today, which is a reality. So, my brother, my sisters in Christ, I told you before when we talk about lifted, it means from a lower position to a higher wall, to a higher wall, it is to be invigorated or heightened to be inspired to be what inspired to be encouraged Amen. or steered up it is also to increase in condition to increase in words to increase in the quality of your life that is the meaning of lifted lifted it is not taking one step forward it is taking many steps forward it is what Taking many steps forward. So when God is involved, when God is involved, many steps forward, many steps forward, many steps forward. Amen? Amen. And so my brother, my sisters in Christ, I want to let you know some of the people, you know, in the Bible, some of the people that experience divine lifting. And yes, in the Bible you are holding now. That Bible is full of lifting from God. Amen. The Bible you see you reading is filled of people who have experienced lifting from God. Mm -hmm. Number one in the list today is Mordecai. 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 Like you know, Mordecai, he was, you know, he was practically what? 
he was practically a gate man. Practically what? A gate man. Mm -hmm. But God used his enemy. God used his enemy, which is called Haman. Haman was the enemy of Mordecai. Mm -hmm. God used his enemy and he was lifted. He was lifted, you know, with many levels above where he was. From mm -hmm. a gate man to second in command. From a gate man, where? To second in command. That is, that is who? Mordecai. Mm -hmm. Kaya, God uses his enemy. I pray for you today. Wherever you are, God will use your enemy. God will use your enemy to lift you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God has done it. He will also do it because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, today and tomorrow and forevermore. If God did it for Mordecai, he will also do it for you. Somebody say, Amen. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, Hallelujah. You know, something is going on. Oh, this is lifting for us. Whenever you are lifting, whenever wow. you are, it's lifting. Yes, what yes. is going on? It's lifting yes, you. Yes. you. It's lifting you. Check where you are now. Yes, Discover yes, yes. Where I used to be. You say, mm. where I used to be. I am. Mm. I want I am not where I used to be. Mm. Ah, that is God is involved. God is involved. Yeah. Instead of one step, you are taking many steps. steps. That means to say that God is involved. And don't forget, like I told you before, that's right. Mordecai, all right. Number two, mm. this time around, is the man they call Joseph. Joseph. Okay. <laughs> Joseph. Now, he was lifted from the position of, of a prisoner. Don't forget, he was a prisoner to oversee the land of Egypt. And no decision was made without his consent. Did you see? Did you see? He was lifted from becoming a prisoner. And it was his enemy that spoke for him. I don't know where you are today. Your enemy will be speaking for you. <laughs> Amen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. They may have hated you anyhow. But God will use them again to be speaking for you. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Because what happened in the Bible will happen to you right now. We are the one fulfilling prophecies. Prophecy is even fulfilled in our very own eyes. We are fulfilling prophecy. We are what? Fulfilling our prophecies. prophecies. That is number two. Number three, the person also is called David. 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 Day what? V. Now, David was a shepherd boy. This is the boy that wrote Psalm 3, verse 1, while he was keeping the sheep. He was keeping the shepherd. I mean, he was keeping the, you know, the physical sheep. Mm. And he understood that there is a shepherd above him. And he said, the Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. Did mm. you see it? Because he, David, was also keeping the sheep. Keep. Did you see it? And so David, he was a shepherd boy. But from a shepherd boy, look at what happened. He became a king. King. Um, he, he became a king. And this David was the last born, don't forget, of the family commanded so much respect that nobody sat down until he had what? Arrived. You know see it? David was a shepherd boy. But he was being lifted from being a shepherd boy to what? To be a, a king. I don't know where you are right now. God is lifting you. God is taking you from where you are. So a place he desired for you. Amen. 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 I'm you, because no matter the condition of the corona or epidemic or data variance, the name they call it, that is not your name. Amen. Yes. Yes. It's just a name. It's an event. Very soon you see it no more. <laughs> Amen. Very soon. Even with the pandemic, God is still lifting you. Yes. God is still lifting you. God is still lifting you. Amen. Even with the pandemic, 
that you see, which is reality. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God is still lifting you. Amen. Amen. Now, there is a lifting up. Yes. Did you see, my brother, when there is a cast that what happened, there is what? A, a lifting, lifting up. up. Whatever you are, just say with me, say, I am lifted. I am lifted. Yes, that is it. Because you are lifted. That's why, yeah, yes, you are seeing it now. Uh, you are different from what is going on in the world today. I'm telling you. I'm telling my brother. I'm telling my brother. So, my brother, one thing we must learn is that our current situation cannot stop God's orchestration of our lifting. Of our what? Of our lifting. He can take a get man, he can take a prisoner. He can take a shepherd boy and turn them into a VVIP. Oh, yes. My brother, my sister, nothing can stop you from lifting us high. Yes. Think that where you are or what you are going through is the end, is the end, is the end of the no. God has surprised, you know, God has a surprise waiting package. Mm. God has a surprise waiting package just for you. Mm -hmm. Just for you, just for us, just Amen. for all, just for all, just Amen. for all. My brother, my sisters, this part, God has promised to lift you and I. This part, this part, they call September. God has promised to lift you and I. And he will do it in different ways. Amen. He will do it in different uh, ways because yes. God has different ways. Different ways. The way he lift this one is different from the way he lift the other. Yes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And so we are going to see number one, which, which is going to be in the scripture. Everything is recorded in the scriptures. Uh, everything. That is why this, this ministry is all based on scriptures. Yes. So we are going to see the other scriptures in Luke. In Luke 5, 1 to 8. He said, so it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from there and were washing their nets. Three. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the, you know, and taught the multitude from the boat. So number four, when he had stopped speaking, stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a catch. Number five, but Simon answered and said to him, master, we have toyed all night and caught nothing. But nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, you know, they caught a great, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. So they signaled to the other partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and feed and you know and feed boats, the boats, so that they begin to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knee, saying, Depart from me, for I am what? A sinful man, O oh Lord. That means forgive me for doubting you. <laughs> forgive me because I did not know that you, oh, forgive me. Forgive me for doubting you. Number one, number one of such people, my brother, that we are going to take today. I told you that there are different ways God lifts people, different ways. Number one, like I told you, we, we, we saw in the scripture, if you, if, if you mind his business, number one is to mind God's business. Is to do what? Mind, mind God's, God's business. business. Don't forget, Peter gave his boat so that Jesus Christ could use. You see it? Peter gave his boat so that Jesus Christ could what? Could use it to yeah. preach. You know, could use to preach. And just for that act, it caught so much fish. Just for that singular act, it caused, it caught so much uh, 
fish. You know, see, he gave Jesus his boat. And you know, in those days, boats are very expensive. Boats are very expensive. I'm telling you. But he gave Jesus Christ the boat. Because in mind about, you know, you know, you know, in mind the business of Jesus. So if you mind his business, he will mind your own uh, business. Business. So my brother, this is what happened. And what happened, he caught so much fish that they will begin to sink. So pursuing the things of God will attract him to be, to do spectacular things in your life. If you mind his business, he will mind yours. <laughs> I told you, if you mind his business, he will mind yours. Number one, the case is Peter like you saw in the scripture now. And the other one is in Ecclesiastes, verse one. He said, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. There is a season. Now we are in a different season. Number two is divine timing. What I say? Divine, divine timing. timing. Yes. Time is a very important factor in everything that we do in life. God wants us to know that this month, that he will lift us to a greater height. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. But he will do it in his own timing. Time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I want you to understand, Lord brother. He will do it in his own timing. In his Amen. Own time. uh, in his own time. In his own time, he will do it in his own time. That's what he called divine time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. uh, he will do it in his own time. So let's see that from John again. John 2, 1 through 4. John 2, 1 through 4. Look at what it's saying. It said, on the third day, there was a wedding. It is not a marriage, but a wedding. Don't forget, the wedding is an event. So there was an event which is called wedding in the Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. The mother of Jesus Christ was there. Could you imagine? Of Jesus was there. Now, both Jesus and the disciple were invited to the wedding, to the event. It was an event, to, to the event which is called wedding. Then, okay, let's go to number three. And when they ran out of wine, this, you know, the wine already was out. The mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Jesus said to her, woman, what does, you, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. So that means to say, my brother, we must not speed past God's time. It can only end in disaster if you overtake God. <laughs> <laughs> that is what happened to Jacob. He was about to over, 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 overtake God. And what happened? You know, mm. you know, he had a breaking legs, a breaking limbs. Mm. Uh, God's timing is the best. When God's time comes, it becomes divine. It becomes something that have come to stay. Mm. Something unique, something unique, something unique, something divine from him, from above. I'm telling you, that means his hand is upon your life. It's upon whatever you with. Amen. But hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my brother, my sisters, we must not speed past God's time. It can only end in disaster. When he's ready to do it, he will do it, and the whole world will hear of it. The whole world. They will know, yeah, God's hand is upon him. This is God. This is God. And this is God. Because it, it was impossible to man. But with God, all these are possible. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the other one, we are going to take it from, I told you, everything is based on uh, scripture. Scripture. Uh, scripture means it's, it's, it's sure. The, scripture the Word of God. Sure. Yeah. Scripture sure. Uh, 
and uh, uh, it's for sure. So it's not a lie. It's not a lie. It's for sure. It's for sure. That's why it's called street sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh. Amen. That scripture in um, First Samuel 16, 6 to 13. Okay, thank you. So it was when they came that he looked at Elia and said, Surely the lost anointed is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. But the Lord does not see as men see, for men looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Take note of the heart. So Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shama pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Let's go to 10. Then thus Jesse made seven of his sons pass by before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jay, he said, hey, the Lord has not chosen this. And Samuel said to Jay, said, are all the young men here? Then he said, there remaineth one. Call out age, quote, scared about. Whatever you are saying, I am the one. Eh? I am the one. Whatever you are, you can be in the field, whatever. Oh. Just say, I am the one. I am the one. Hey, say, I am the one. I am the one. Now look at what he said. He said, there remains yet the youngest. And there he is, keeping the ship. No matter your qualification or who you are, God can select you. <laughs> so the other one is divine selection. What did I say? Divine, divine selection. selection. This one. God will single you out. I said this for God will Amen. single you out. Whatever you Amen. are, God will single you out. Amen. Out of the crowd, out of the multitude, out of your family, and lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is his promise. I'm telling you, that is what his promise, his even promise. as he did for David. Did you see it? Did you see it? He did great. for David. He did it for who? For David. David. I'm telling you, that same God is, is still at work. Yes. He can sing you out from your family. Yes. He can sing you out from the crowd. Yes. I'm telling you, because his hand is upon your life. Amen. Watching over you. Mm. I'm telling you, because God wants to make a name, a name for himself through you. He mm. wants to showcase his glory through you. Man. God does not walk with crowd. God does not walk with multitude. God walks with few. Everybody say few. Few. My brother, my sisters, we are going to the other one. You see how God selected? God, God lifting is different, right? You, you can see different kind of way. He lifted, is different from David. David is different from different, you know. So we are going to the other one, which is a uh, first Chronicles, first Chronicles 4. Nine to ten. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. It's like okay. First Chronicles <laughs> four nine to ten. It's like I skip the other one, right? It's like I skip the other scripture, right? Did I skip it? Yes, sir. Oh, please. Okay. I'm so sorry. Let's go back to that scripture. And uh, uh, I was thinking. Okay. Thank you so much, my. Thank you so much. Now, okay. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. And someone said, okay. Thus, Jesse made seven of his uh, sons pass before Samuel. And someone said to Jesse, send uh, and bring him. You see, uh, so wherever you are, the Lord is sending you right now. Somebody will go and send for you. <laughs> Amen. I'm telling you, you may be somewhere now. We boring and worshiping God. Don't forget, yes. David was in the ship. He was in the ship but taking care of what? Eh? Taking care of the ship. Yes. Eh? Taking care of the ship. David is the one that wrote, The Lord is my shepherd. He understood, not knowing something that is coming. Oh. Yes, you know, so. Someone said, Send and bring him. 
for we will not sit down till uh, it comes. You see, comes. wherever you are, they will not do anything without you. <laughs> Amen. They will Amen. not do anything without you. Amen. Presence has covered that place. Your presence, your value. You are so valued. You are so you are so valued that without you, nothing can go. Somebody, yes. hallelujah. 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 All right. Okay, let's go to 12. 12. He says, so he sent and uh, brought him in, and he was Rudy. What is it? Rudy means he was good looking. He was, he was nice. And uh, with bright eyes. He got the very bright and sharp eyes. Good looking. You know, good looking. Good looking. You know what they call good looking? How you dress, that is how you'll be addressed. Mm. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. How you dress. And the Lord said, arise, I love him. For this is the one. Hey, mm. Whatever you are, say, I am the one. Say, I am the one. I am the say, one. I am, the, I am one. the one. I am the one. You see it? Don't forget. He said with bright eyes. He was Rudy. You don't see it? He was Rudy. That means, he, that means, you know, everything about him was fine, was good looking. Mm. I'm telling you. He said, arise. I know it's him. For this is the one we've been waiting for. Now, okay, go to 13, please. 13. Okay. Then someone took the horn of oil. And anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So someone arose and went to Rabbi. Say, Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Incubate me. Say, incubate me. 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 He could break my liver. He could break my abdomen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That is where this, this psalm came from. That he was anointed, mm. uh, anointed in the midst of who? Of his enemies. <laughs> A table was prepared. And his enemies were that of his own. Because some <laughs> of them, they don't have the same father. I mean, the same mother. Brother. Yes. So... That is where Psalms came from. Yeah, my brother. So we are going to 1 Chronicles 4, 9 to 10. 1 Chronicles 4, 9 to 10. Now, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. But his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. Number 10, please. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me, indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause that that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. Don't forget the blessing of the Lord make it what? Rich. Rich. And added no sorrow. sorrow. Yes. So this one, don't forget the way God select people. This this one is prayers. What I say, prayers. Prayers. Jabez prayerfully changed his status. He lifted his voice to God, and and God in turn lifted him up. Prayer does all things. Any Christian who craves lifting, who craves for lifting and enlargement, of course, should. Lift his or her voice to God this month in prayer. This month we are in prayer. In prayer. Yeah, in prayer. If you want enlargement, if you want lifting, how God will lift you is through prayer. And Amen. it's through divine timing. And it's through what? True, true, you know, true minding this business. And true divine selection as well. Amen. Amen. And the other one, and the other one is in Genesis 40, verse 8. Genesis 40, is, and they said to him, We each have had a dream, and there is no interpreter to it. This one is called opportunities. Say what we say, opportunities. Opportunities. That is it. And they said to him, they said to you know, they said to him, We we each have had a dream. And there's no interpreter. They were not saying that. Joseph saw the opportunity. Don't forget. Joseph saw the opportunity. 
to interpret the dreams of the mm. chief butler and the baker. And he sees that opportunity. He sees what? That opportunity. This act led to his lifting eventually as he was called upon to interpret Pharaoh's dream. So let's see Genesis chapter 41, verse 14. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. Could you imagine? Because of that singular act of interpretation, Pharaoh, the king, the president, sent and called Joseph and they brought him quickly out of the dungeon. The place that put him was called dungeon. A cave. The Bible said, and he shaved. He changed his clothing and he came to Pharaoh because he was going to meet a king. How can you go with a dreadlock? Ah, no. People say no problem with dreadlock. I can see uh, uh, with dreadlock. Look at that. Look at that. Did he have dreadlock? Look at him. Did he have dreadlock? No. He just put on your ring. No. Or saga. Or, or, or they call it swag. Or swag. Or swag. Or swagger. Or Saga or saga or what saga is saga? I'm telling you. The Bible says he shaved. And he changed his clothing because he was going to see someone that will lift him. Oh, my Lord. You see, most of you, when you come to God, you, 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 ah, no, 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 no. And he came to Pharaoh. My brother, my sisters in Christ, this month, God will bring opportunities your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That we need to be tuned to his wavelength to recognize and seize these opportunities. Mostly, opportunities come in forms of work. It comes in form of what? Of work. Oh. This means we must not be lazy. We must not be what? Be lazy. But must be willing and ready to work. Mm. And lastly, is the word of prophecies. All over the scriptures we see today, they are words of prophecies. They are word mm. of what? Prophecies. prophecies. And promises of the things that God is set to do for us. So it is left for you and I to catch up and claim these words to gain our rightful possession. Position. God's word of divine lifting will come to fulfillment in your life, only if you believe and claim them. Amen. So I prophesy on you right now, wherever you are. I, I, and I declare for you in this month of September, as we are, as we are going in, in, in this month, it doesn't matter how deep you are in the pit, God will bring you out. Amen. I said, God will bring you out. I Amen. said, God will bring you out. Amen. And if he bring you out, we bring you up. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you as I'm declaring for you. You will not miss his visitation this month in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you that whatever is standing between you and your progress will be broken down. Will be broken Amen. down. Will be broken Amen. down. Like the words of Jericho Hida in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you right now that God, the God that has brought me to this to this land of so sad career, that same God that has been with me, he will open your eyes to see and recognize any opportunities that comes your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. My brother, my sister, I pray for you. No matter, no matter the name people are calling you, hey, God will change that name. Amen. And God will change that name. Amen. He will change that name and status. Just Amen. like he did for Jabez in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you in this month of September. God will bring you out of the mark clay. He will bring you out of the mark clay. God will bring you out of the mark clay. And the Amen. body set your feet upon a higher ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will single you out this month. God will command his lifting on you. I say, God, we single you out and lift you Amen. up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother, my sister, every stagnancy in your life, every stagnancy in your life is being destroyed from this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You will be elevated. You will be elevated. Amen. You will be elevated. Wherever you are, you will be elevated. Wherever you are, you will be elevated. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you and I declare upon you that you will become a surprise and a message to the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for you, my brother, my sisters. Even though you have been looking up to people, people will start looking up to you by divine Amen. providence in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. Oh, be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed all the time. Be blessed going out. Be blessed coming in. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I go, I want us to pray to prayers. Somebody help me to open the, you know, prayers are from scriptures, you know. I want us to open to Proverbs 8, 13. Somebody help me. Proverbs 8, 13, please. It's time for prayer. It's time for prayer, please. Proverbs 8, verse 13. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Proverbs 8, verse 13. Yes, ma'am. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride yes. and arrogancy, and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Amen. Yeah. Now, this is Amen. Proverbs. Yes, this is Proverbs. Proverbs. This is Proverbs. Proverbs with wisdom. It says, hate evil. You don't be a child of God and you like evil. You got to hate evil is wisdom. So hate evil mm -hmm. and pride is wisdom. I'm telling you, my brother, if you want to lift this, all this you want from God, God hate these things. Now say with me, say, I hate evil. I hate evil. We are praying now, it's you or not. Don't point out on anybody, it's you, it's you and I. Yes. We have evil in our heart. Our heart is, is too bad, it's too, it's too hard. We have, we have evil, we have pride, we have those things in our heart. Not anybody. Don't point hand on anybody, it's you and me. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, it's you and me. We have evil, hatred, jealousy. Those things are inside you. And you want God to lift you. Say with me. Say, I hate evil. I hate evil. Say with me. Therefore, therefore, every pride, every pride, yes, every arrogance, every arrogance, yes, every forward mark in me, every forward mark to me, I command it out of me. Out of I me. command it out, out of me, 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 17 to 18. Then you jump to 21. Proverbs 8. Yes, 17 to 18. Then jump to 21. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches mm -hmm. and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. Mm. It's 21. Yes, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. I, did you see the, did you see Proverbs? Once you love God, you are blessed already. Amen. Did you see? He said, "Wealth and riches are in those that love Him." Not for yes. everybody, oh. Hey, not for everybody. Not for everybody, oh. He said, I, "I love those that love me." That means those that love me, He will pour out His wealth, riches, and His riches oh. on the person. Somebody shout, yes. "Hallelujah!" Hallelujah. Now, so the O oh Lord cost me to inherit substances. O oh Lord cost me, to... me to inherit substances. Yes, and true riches. And true riches. And, riches. and fill me with your treasures. And fill and me with your treasures. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord cost me to inherit substance. Oh, no, cause oh, me to marry yes. substance. True riches. True riches. And fill me with your treasures. And, and fill me with your treasures. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
So these are principles. The principle is loving God. Once you love God, you, you are due for riches now. Riches, riches is not a sin. God love you to be rich. Ah. I'm telling you, God love you to be wealthy. Amen. But you must love him. You must what? Love him. Hey, you must love him. Now, finally, this is an instruction. I have an instruction. And it's taken from Acts 17.2. Then we jump to 11. Acts 17.2, instruction for you and I. Instruction, Acts 17, verse 2 and 11. Somebody quickly open it. Why? You know, open it quickly, please. Acts 17.2. Yes, ma'am. And Paul, as was his manner, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with, reasoned with them out of the scriptures. Verse yeah. 11. Thank you, Mike. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Amen. I want you to understand that scriptures are important. Apostle Paul, the difference between the Thessalonica, the Thessalonica church and the Berean is this different. The Thessalonica people did not read the scripture, but the Berean, they get into the scripture daily. That's, that's different. The difference between you and you and another person. You might be in the same church, but there's different happening within you. Scriptures is important. You see, I just open, I open it for you to see. So different between the Thessalonica church and the Berean. The Berean open the scriptures daily. They open it daily, you know, not like the Thessalonica church. So open the scriptures daily to see what the pastor is saying is in line with the scriptures. But you, we just carry and go. No, get to the scriptures. See what he's saying is true or wrong. That you just believe everything. So the yeah, yeah, pastor said, pastor said, go to the scripture and see it. Pastor said it, 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 pastor said it. What is pastor said it? You go to the scripture, read it for yourself. I say, oh, it's true. That what that is. So the instruction is that please read scriptures daily mm. to see whether what the prophet or pastor they are saying is in line. So the difference between the Thessalonica, Thessalonica, don't forget, they are Christians also. <laughs> they are Christians also. But these are not working with them. But the Berians, these are working with them. Why? Because they say the scripture daily. Are you ready to are you ready to say the scripture daily? Yes. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. You'll see changes when you start reading the scriptures. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Put your hands again together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amen. 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 Wow. Hallelujah. 